Well, hey there, peeps. Here's my newest lawnmower find. I found this over the weekend. It will never run ever again the way it is currently, but maybe by the end of today, after a little playing in the garage, maybe it will run. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we have a Brute with a Briggs Quantum 7.25 foot-pound gross torque. As you can see, it's taken apart. That's from me. I've already kind of looked at it. It is front-wheel drive, and the wheels are kind of bald, but I think the teeth are okay because they still feel like they catch. I've taken the blade off. There's the head bolts, head gasket, and head. We're missing. I think two hubcaps. This doesn't fit a bag. But we do have the mulch plate. And we have a full tank of gas. When we picked it up, it had no oil. I put some in. I was hoping it was low on compression just because it didn't have oil but after I put oil in I noticed a crack in the block so it may or may not show right there there's a crack where this engine threw a rod and I'll show you I'll pull the rope the piston does not move up and down in the cylinder anymore. So she is a goner. In my garage, I'm fortunate to have a spare engine that I yanked off of a good deck that I gave to a friend and their mower rotted out. Their engine was still good, so I had a mower that was all ready to go, but I gave them the deck, transplanted their engine, but I kept my engine, and it runs, and it runs well. And I checked the shaft, it's the same length, it's the same diameter. So we're going to see what we can do here today. Maybe we'll have a brute. And the first thing I've done, I've disconnected the cable and I disconnected the rope from the handlebar. And I already have the blade and blade adapter off. So now it's just a matter of getting the engine off. Maybe. tap with the impact and our broken engine is off. Now I need to get that pulley off. Our self-propelled pulley is transplanted. It's held on by one Phillips screw and then there's a plastic keyway that's part of the cheap plastic pulley that slides along the keyway on the crankshaft. Here's the junk engine. I'm going to take a looky-loo inside, see if I can get the sump off. I drained all the oil and gas out of it, so it should be fairly empty, shouldn't make a big mess. In doing so, I could hear something rattle around inside. So, we'll take a closer look inside.
Looks kind of sludgy. Got a metallic sheen to it. Oh, looky there. The governor broke. I don't know if this happened before the engine threw the rod or if the heat made this break. Part of the rod cap all scored up. Might be a little damage on the cam right there. There's the rest of the rod gap. I take that back. One more piece. There. Something like that. off the connecting rod right there. and looks scratched up but it doesn't feel that bad. And I'm really surprised this cylinder doesn't feel bad either. Crankshaft, that's another story. That feels pretty bad. Oh, that's got a big scratch on the inside there. It's too bad that it cracked the block. I don't know if it'll show right there. This is where probably a piece of rod cap or connecting rod bashed into the block and it cracked it. I wonder if it could be repaired. Well, there's our junk engine. Might keep it for a little while. You never know. Like I did use a sump one time. I'd be really curious to see if the top end's not damaged, if I could JB weld that crack on both sides, and if this block might still work on a mower. I don't know. It got pretty hot, I know that. But if it wasn't for that crack, I'd definitely give it a try. If I had a good replacement crankshaft and piston. I don't know. I'll keep it. We'll see. I found this interesting. I wanted to share it. Whoever destroyed that old engine, they ran it without any oil, or low on oil. That engine got so hot, it melted the plastic. The plastic cover for the self-propelled, and then this particular engine has a little base plate that the engine sits on. I don't know if it shows on the camera, but it's partially melted. I think it can be reused. We'll see, but 
interesting. After a brief struggle, I was able to get the front wheel drive belt cover off and it is jam packed full of grass. I'm going to clean that out. We're getting there. The engine is mounted. And the belt is on both pulleys. And now the blade's reinstalled. There's just one thing left to do. Well, two things, I guess. Okay, I guess there's three things left to do. I reconnected the cable. Put the pull rope back on the handlebar. Second thing, I put the cover back on to make it a brute, not a craftsman. I had one in my garage that was in a little better shape, not scratched up. We went, went from 7.25 to 7.00 foot pound gross torque. But that'll be our little secret. And third, we'll give it a start. Damn. Got a good running, self propelling, brute. You probably notice I removed the hubcaps. I only have one in my stash. I don't have two. So this thing is just going to get sold with black wheels. And I'll have three hubcaps. I will need to put the cover back on the self propelled. But in order to get this off, I kind of had to bore out that hole and destroy that screw because it was rusted in there. So, that. And I am missing one bolt for the handlebar. But those two things, and then just a general tune-up. Change the oil, sharpen the blade. And this will be good to go. And actually, I don't have to change the oil, because I've already changed the oil on this engine. I just need to sharpen the blade. This will be a good mower for somebody. Thanks for watching.